G'day friends and welcome to our sharing of um, mail cards for the month of August. It's Vicky Roy, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. So today um, I'm going to be sharing, um, um, just bear with me, sorry, a card created from the Let's Go Fishing uh, DSP and we're going to be using this side and this side. I've got two ideas in my head so we're just going to go by our nose basically. So we're going to be using, this is one piece and that's the opposite side so that's it there and then that's it there. Okay and we're going to be playing with the matching um, Gone Fishing stamp set as well as the Gone Fishing whoops, dies. So we're, yeah, all right, so I'll leave that out because we'll need that. And we're going to be playing with this one here, that one there, and because it's Father's Day coming up, we're going to use that sentiment. Okay, so let's get on with it. So we'll grab our base our kit, I should say. And our colours um, um, are Mossy Meadow and Berry Vanilla. Now I've already die cut a shape, but I've also kept the shape that it was die cut from. So that's it there. And I've just, I wanted this shape, but I won't throw this away yet because we could even use this one. And what I've done is I've just rounded those bottom corners, okay? So this shape comes from the Gone Fishing Guys, and it's this big one here. Now, I know a lot of people have been using it for, um, the cover of a tackle box or whatever but I've used this one and it also cuts out as I said the outside as well so put that aside so we won't throw this out it's like a little door okay and we've got two pieces here and I think one is smaller yet so I want to throw, I'm going to fix this one up first before we start. I've got to just try, oops. I just have to chop a little bit of extra off. Okay. So now that gives us the same size, hopefully. Okay, so we'll just burnish this in half and we'll just go burnish along that scored line so that our fold is nice and crisp. That's done. I'm sorry if you can hear a little bit of snoring in the background. <laughs> My dog's behind me. She's snoring her heart out. Um, okay, and she owns herself, she's really tired. But, okay, so I think what we might do, we might chop this into pieces. So we'll go about here. I'm not going to be too specific about where I chop it. Might go. And chop that in half and then I'm going to chop this piece into three pieces so what I want to do is write this down actually so we'll go two and let's go there that's one piece I'll 
go again at the side. Actually, we might do this one. Two, should be one and a half, not two. One. So we'll cut this at two. And that will give us three pieces. So that's right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chop the bottom piece the same. So it was one and a half. Now all the measurements will be on my blog that you'll be able to download. And I'll also have a, um, a link to Robbie's blog as well to see what she's created. And there's also a link below uh, for Robbie's YouTube channel too. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see as well what she's created. So what we're going to do is bring this in now. Hoping this works. And I'm thinking we do... Oops, I think that's what we'll do, eh? So let's take those ones there, that one there, that one there, and let's stick these down to I love chopping my paper into different ways. this piece leaving I always leave a tiny little gap probably about one eighth or I think it's about one point I mean point three centimeters or one eighth of an inch you could leave it wider if you wanted to, but I probably wouldn't go any more than a quarter of an inch. Well, oh, I've done that the wrong side, haven't I? Okay, let's put this one down here. I was wondering how long it would take me. Okay, so now want this one, no, this one, and it's got to go that way. Just like that. Now, if you got to the end and you discovered your piece, your last piece, piece was too wide for this chop back from this side don't chop although it won't matter anyhow so ignore that you could chop back from the other side because your um, pattern paper or your DSP isn't going to match in anyhow so forget I said that I'm used to having all my pieces Matching, not doing it this way. To go up that way, I think. Oops. The only thing you've got to remember is to make, try and have all these pieces all lined up so that they, they're all squared away. It will look better. one. That 
pretty. Now I'm just going to chop a tiny little bit off the bottom there. It's just a little bit too wide for me. sixteenth of an inch and then what we'll do is chop a little bit off on this side too that's just me being me and what we're going to do is we're going to stick this piece to our base cut so again, it's an easy peasy card. So that's my cup of tea. I'll turn that over. Just like that. Actually, I don't mind that now that it's done. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, then what I'm thinking is we're going to stamp our sentiment onto this square we're not going to put it right in the center like that I think we'll bring it over to the sides and I'm thinking we'll use this as well and we can stick this down but we'll pop this bit up eh? or should I do it that side we might do it that side so I'm just going to round this corner first here. I've missed that corner. So all I've done, just gone around ever so slightly with my scissors and rounded the corner. Okay. And that can be we can pretend that's a little door. So I'm just going to pop making sure it's nice and straight yep I'm just sticking that down with my finger then making sure it stayed there we'll come in with our sentiment which is what they say happy father's day and we're going to stamp this in Mossy Meadow, just grab my phone mat. Because it's a photo polymer, I like to stamp on the phone mat. Just, I'll just stamp onto scrap paper first to see if it's straight. Yeah. Might be out of eyesight for a minute, so just bear with me. And that's it there. And then what we're going to do is do a little sinker. I think they're called sinkers. I don't boy, little boy. Um, so we'll stamp that in Memento. Before we do that, we might just pop this up, eh, to get a bit out of the way. Use these. And I'm just using um, our standard dimensionals.
bring our card back in and we're just going to pop that back in to that cut out area oops just like that now before I stick it down I do check to see if it's straight all around and then I will press down gently like that okay now you could have even cut this out in a corresponding um, coordinating color if you wanted to but I don't mind the vanilla on vanilla and then we're going to do our boy so I do have strap card stock here. so we're going to stamp the outline in memento tuxedo black just like that and then we're going to fill the bottom up with calypso coral actually this would make a nice uh, christmas bauble too just color it and I'm using this, I say clips of coral, that's what I'm using. So I'm just going to bring this down a bit. Bear with me. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to die cut this out with our matching die. Okay, and that's it there. So just bear with me while I go and do this and then I'll be back. Side, we can put that back with our dies and that's it there so then we'll bring in there our base card and I'm thinking I might need a fish or something I think let's do a fish too and we can put that to the side eh so let's do a fish. Um, where's our stamp set? Actually, no. Let's do a plastic. I like all the plastics. This one here. A plastic boat. That's it there. So let's take this off. Stamp this in mossy meadow, eh? Plastics, you know, plastics are usually any colour. I was going to say they're all silver, but they're not. The, they can be any colour. I've got really bright ones too, so. Yep. So we could have done a bright one as well. Now we're just going to grab our matching die again. And that's it there. So just bear with me again. as we go I think but that can work out good I'll put all that aside and then what we're going to do this is going to go like that that's better so we'll put a dimensional um, Put 
the dimensional along the bottom like that oh. Oh. did I get it then? Oh. and we'll put a little bit of glue or you could use um, a mini glue dot if you wanted to To the side like that yeah. then we're going to do the same thing for our boy that there like that and we might tie a little bit of um, um, linen thread into a tiny bow. Trim that off. Now, if you wanted to, you could have poked a small hole through that with our um, Take Your Pick tool and threaded this through it. But I'm just going to do a little bow and pretend that it is threaded through, hey? So I'll just grab um, a mini glue dot. little devils and just put that there like that and that is our card we're not even going to put any embellishment on it again we're just going to leave it like that okay so we might do the inside too and our envelope while we're here so we'll grab this And we'll use the plastic, okay? The plastics. Um, in the green. Now, you could easily change the sentiment out to um, any greeting that you wanted, okay? Just going to do a couple. Got another spot on that. I don't. Um, yeah, any sentiment that you wanted um, be perfect for. Um, well, any sort of card. This sentiment, this stamp set has some great sentiments in it. Anyhow, retirement. Congrats. So glad that you're my dad. That is perfect for a birthday or Father's Day or anything. And then I like this one too. Good things come to those who wait. And then we're just going to pop this on the inside. Just like that. Now I'll also have a link down below to this um, bundle that you can click on and um, shop the bundle if you wanted to, if you don't have it. Um, and there's a link to my blog post where you'll find a link to Robbie's post as well. Okay, so that's our card for today. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your day and I'll see you Thursday.
Okay, see ya. Hooray.